The Sun Reef Power 60 is a serious cruising vessel. It has as many as six ensuite cabins and two 3,000 litre tanks for an unrefueled range of almost 1,500 miles. That massive 26 foot beam means there's enormous amounts of deck space, whether it's for sunbathing on the sun pads or moving up and down those hugely wide side decks. It also makes for an enormous cockpit. There's seating in one corner, a wet bar in the other, and a large outside dining table, all protected by that substantial flybridge overhang. There's a kind of raised bathing platform aft over the top of a tender garage which hangs underneath, as well as two smaller bathing platforms down by the water's edge where you can jump in for a swim. The saloon is set on two different levels, with a seating area down below opposite a very substantial, almost commercial standard galley and a raised forward area with the helm and dinette. The galley has a five burner hob with a special separate stand for the wok and plenty of worktop space, a full height fridge freezer and this rather tall bar so that you can serve people sitting at the dinette opposite. There's even a neat little wine cooler tucked next to the stairs leading up to the helm station. This is raised on an upper level but does have slightly limited views through the rather slit-like windows, particularly when trying to look astern or over to one side. Up on the same level, there's a nice little coffee area where people can sit and keep the skipper company. There's a central companionway that leads down from here to the two main guest cabins. This can be a single huge owner suite, or as in this case, a pair of comfortable double on suites. The beds themselves are on the upper level, and then there's a number of steps down into the hulls, leading to the ensuite bathrooms. These are relatively narrow, but have everything you need, including a separate shower compartment and the heads. The other cabins are accessed from the lower level of the saloon, and again, there are steps leading down into each of the hulls. This is one of the big comfortable doubles, again with its separate ensuite shower compartment. Each hull boasts enough space for two cabins, one double, and in this case, a pair of bunks. But again, it has its own separate bathroom, making a total of six bathrooms and six cabins. This is perfect for a charter arrangement, particularly if you want to give over one cabin to the crew. With so many guests on board, you'll need plenty of space for entertaining, and the flybridge delivers with this huge acreage of sun pads and a suitably big dinette table where everybody can sit outside and enjoy their meal. There's also a raised helm position here, and thanks to the elevated views, this is where most people are going to choose to drive from.